When you're going into weld for the first time in the day, or if you're transitioning different metal thicknesses, what you need to do is you need to go through your checklist. What your checklist is, is going through the machine and making sure all of your elements of welding are set correctly for the thickness of the material. Start from the very back of your machine and work toward the workpiece or the work table. First and foremost, you want to start with your gas. Turn your primary valve on. Now, the next thing you need to do is turn the machine on, get your gun in your hand. If you have the option to shut your wire feeder off, do so. This will allow you to check your gas without wasting wire. Now all you have to do is hold this away from your work clamp and then just check and make sure you're at the right cubic feet per hour for uh, your flow regulator. Using the flow adjustment dial, all we have to do is hold down the trigger and take it up to whatever you need. We're gonna be doing 16 gauge, so I'm gonna set it right around 26 to 28 CFH, okay? Now that that's done, I wanna move forward toward the workpiece or the table, uh, checking everything as I go. So, for 16 gauge, I wanna be at 45 for my wire speed and then three and a half for my voltage. I'm already set up, I'm ready to go. Turn my wire feeder back on. Next, check and make sure your wire is feeding out correctly. It is. Sometimes it can get caught up on the contact tip or if the hose is torqued like so, uh, it might not feed properly. Worst comes to worst, you're gonna have a bird's nest on, on the inside of your machine. After that, go ahead and snip your wire. Put that in the holder, and never forget the work clamp. If you don't have the work clamp down, you can't create that circuit creating your arc. And that is the checklist.